Hello everyone, Charles1K92 here, and we're back again with some more AC4 Black Flag Freedom Cry. So, we've been busy, we've managed to um, make our way to um, Port-au-Prince on more than one occasion, and we had to send some of the maroon into a particular ship that was going to go to a location somewhere. Now, Ade has slowly been building up a relationship with a... I want to say she's a Templar spy or a Templar asset. But I'll just double check just to be sure. Okay, historical events. People. Characters. So, we know that Arde, or Adewale, was a, was enslaved. Um, learn the ways of this human. Great for his own development, his own skills. Just pass me in the boat. And then in 1715, misfortune struck a cruel blow when the ship Ade was aboard. So, sea bar, stand bar near the Port of Arna. Mostly British at the time tried desperately to free the trapped vessel, but after catching sight of the frozen Spanish galleon, abandoned the ship only to be torn apart. Yet, yeah. Ade made peace with his fate and stood his ground. Taken to Havana for questioning and inspection, the Spanish authorities eventually decided to send it. Adewale to Spain, where they felt he would make an excellent interpreter, owing to his fluent command of Spanish, English, and French. Some weeks later, they loaded him into the galleons that made up their general treasure convoy en route to Seville. Thanks for a large part to a hurricane, however, that trip never took place. With the aid of a young Welsh pirate named Edward Kenway, Ade escaped the lids. That bound him, mm -hmm. freeing more prisoners as they went. Ade and Edward commandeered a brigantine and set sail just in time to beat the worst of the storm. When the hurricane passed, Ade was free once more. From that point onward, Ade sailed yet with his as a quartermaster aboard Captain Edward's ship, the Jackdaw, operating out of Nassau for a time. They grew wealthy off their spoils and lived the life they had always do dreamed. But Ade was a man who valued the democratic ideals of his pirate community far above the spoils they acquired while living in it. And as he saw Edward Kenway fall deeper and deeper into his spiral of selfish greed and pointless glory, he wondered if there was a better alternative and more noble cause he thought he could adopt. In 1720, these very ideals put to the test when Captain Kenway sailed to meet the notorious Bartholomew Roberts. Adewale had never trusted Roberts and had hoped Edward might come to the same conclusion before it was too late. Unfortunately, Ade's instincts were correct. In Edward's absence, Roberts and the enormous crew attacked the jackdaw, hoping to subdue her. Ade took command of the brig and sailed her and her crew to safety, regretting the loss of his captain, but confident he had made the right decision. Some months later, Ade resolved to meet with Artibai at the assassin village in Toulon. There he spoke at length with the old mentor and asked him many questions about the air order. After hearing answers that pleased him greatly, Ade joined the order, then set above the devising a scheme to locate his old captain. Months later, Adewale and the assassins got word that Edward Kenway had been languishing for many months in a prison in Port Royal. They learned too that Mary Reed and Anne Bonny had also been taken there. Ade and Adewale put a plan in place and motion to rescue them. After the escape of tragic success, Ade returned the jackdaw intact to Captain Kenway and bade him visit the assassins as soon as he was able. For 15 years, Adewale faithfully served the assassins, but in time he became increasingly troubled by memories of his past. In 1735, while performing a routine takedown of a Templar admiral off the coast of St. Dominique, was thrown overboard and washed ashore near Porto Prince. Auguste Stefan, Bastien Josephine, 
Louis Gorn, and Pre Marquis de Fert Governor. 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 And then there's classes, the Maroons and Overseers. General. Weapons! Ship. Doesn't really show you anything, does it? But anyway. Here we are. Go on. Be free. You would do the same if you could. Time to find out what's been going on. Down with the ship. Ade, Augustin has learned of another slave ship to intercept. I beg you to reconsider. Special orders from the sometimes confidant governor. No, it is as I feared. With all the slaves you have freed, the French are in panic. Let the French live in the fear they earned. It is not so simple. Curfews are strict. Punishments are harsher and more frequent. You help the ones you freed, but at what cost to the ones you can't? A small price for independence. The sooner Augustine's revolution comes, the sooner all slaves will live in peace as free people. Gouverneur de Fayette threatens retaliation. And he is behind this. No. Adwali... Not another word. I don't want to hear it. Hmm. So if all the efforts of Adewale is um, freeing slaves, it makes sense for the powers that be to start panicking. They don't like the idea that, well, they're seemingly escaping. Close down! Your is, did you cross many slave ships? More than a few. But when I sailed with Kenway, plunder was the only prize. Plunder or information leading to more plunder. Did you never wish to intervene? It is wise for a quartermaster to keep his wishes to himself if he also wishes to remain as quartermaster. But yes, the thought did cross my mind. When the assassins offered me the opportunity to pursue more serious aims, I left the plundering behind. But slave ships also? No, for I am still an assassin, and I have found them again. I would not trade my years as a pirate for anything. You enjoyed your freedom. They hardened me for the work we do today. And when I am done, you will also have pirates to thank for your training. Yes, Captain. Mm, look at that. Trouble. Fire! Ah! 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 Ah!
On your mark, Captain! Oh. They're attacking the ship. Now sink the ship. If we don't act fast, Captain. Ready to fight, Captain. Captain Ade. I think we must act fast. Respond fast, it will be too late. Glue down, gallants. Trim to the band. Studs out, let's get moving. Um. There we go. Captain Ade, I think we must act fast. Don't worry, we will. I'll go below. Control these fires, then prepare the expert to create it to receive survival. Thinking.
gouverneur de Fayette. I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. You tried to warn me. We are all guilty. A governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. C'est la main. C'est raté. Revenge is called comfort. Once the fire is gone, another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, barely new life. We will always mourn them. Let's move! And off, men! Loose the royals! Don't really need to give any commentary. Believe it is time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind them. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Nor will the Maroons be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. We will meet again to celebrate Maroon independence. You know well the grounds of the governor's residence. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. To be a blade in the crowd to deal punishment. <clears throat> the ghost ship. Brothers, they did not survive the journey here. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? Interesting here. Yeah. Kill five guards with a blunderbust. 
and kill the ferret with the branding iron. Mm. Well, the moment we go loud is going to be the moment when these guys will know. Hello, boy. It's him. No, you don't, dick shit. Come on, dick shit. You and me. to your rescue your slaves the overseers who follow your orders pathetic what kind of man does not fight for himself why you I have killed many men on principle but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you to understand what it is to gasp and beg for your life like the innocence you drowned you mean those slaves? That ship? But they're not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder. <laughs> like you. I only wish that were true. His word was perhaps. A job well done. It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. 
Oh. After all this time, you lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins, and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. One left to stop this too. I will keep it for memory. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. 84, Freedom Cry. A nice DLC, to be sure. And it's a nice way to give us a closing story to Adewale. At least in terms of Black Flag story. I know that we get to see Ade again in Rogue, and sad to say we kill him, but it is what it is. And at least here we get to see the evils that is slavery on practice. And I want this to be kind of made clear, under a no circumstance or way that any one person on this earth can say that this was a good idea. Slavery in and of itself is a foul practice. And it goes to show you the mindset and I also want this to be kept in mind that given the time period of when all this trade was most likely at its peak in that point in time the powers that be didn't think there was anything wrong We can judge it by today's standards, wholeheartedly, constantly, but it still doesn't change the fact that in the past, nobody except for a minority were saying that this wasn't right. And the worst thing is, is where these people ended up coming from their own countrymen sold them out. And that in itself is a horrible, horrible notion. So, um... 
next uh, video um, will be on Aveline de Grand Prix. And after that, we shall start our story for AC3 and see how everything all goes on that front following the story of Haytham Kenway and Connor Kenway also known as Rodona Gaetan I'm sure I probably pronounced that either incorrectly or correctly there and we'll see how the American Revolution turns out I hope everyone has enjoyed it thus far please leave a like comment as well and a subscription too see you next time